The second day in a row, activists have taken to the streets of Philadelphia to call for the abolishment of U.S. immigration and customs enforcement. And they have a list of other demands as well. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live at the site of the demonstrations, the ICE office on 8th and Cherry in Center City. Good afternoon, Alicia. Good afternoon, Jim. Protesters have been out here, as you said, almost 16 hours straight since yesterday afternoon. Right now, we're seeing a lot of activity. A few uh, protesters that got arrested just a second ago, and the rest just lined up armed and armed. They say they're going to be out here indefinitely. They have donations of food and water coming in because the goal, again, to be out here indefinitely in front of the Philadelphia Immigration and ICE or ICE Customs Enforcement Office indefinitely until certain demands are met. Three to be specific. A uh, one on a national level. Protesters are calling for an end to mass deportation and abolishing ICE. This is a new movement that has sprung up saying the agency has gone rogue and needs to be replaced. There is growing support in Congress for this, also growing criticism. A senator from Connecticut saying it will accomplish nothing. Now, secondly, protesters here want to end family detentions and close the detention center in Berks County. They say that what we are seeing at the border is also happening right in our backyard and it needs to stop. Now, lastly, right here in Philadelphia, they are calling for the city to have a no cooperation policy with ICE, asking the mayor specifically to end PAR's data sharing contract. Despite Philadelphia's reputation as a sanctuary city, it is the case that Philadelphia has also one of the most active ICE offices in the country. Part of the reason for that is because they're able to access the city's residential data. They are able to do so via something called the PARS data sharing agreement. That agreement is ending in August. It's up for renewal at that point. DA Larry Krasnow has already pledged to not renew it. Only one more body, that is to say the mayor, needs to agree to not renew it. Looking into that PARS agreement, but has no definite answer right now. As for the protesters out here, they say that they are going to be out here again indefinitely until their demands are met. Again, it's getting a little hostile here. So for now, we're going to turn it back to you. Live in Center City, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Alicia.